episode of MVP Cooking. Today we are making waffles and um, a quick tip before I get started, you make your batter the night before and let it sit in the fridge overnight so that way it kind of rises sort of um, and you get a much better batter. You will need one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour two tablespoons of sugar but I don't put sugar in my waffles you can put sugar in it if you want to two eggs one and three quarter cups of milk a half a cup of cooking oil or melted butter I always use cooking oil you can use whatever you want to and a teaspoon of vanilla which I just pour into the mix so let's get started also I'm going to add a link also, I'm going to add a link right here in the screen. If you click on it, um, you can uh, support our channel and we thank you very much. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is just mix up your dry ingredients together. This is your flour, baking powder, salt, and if you want, you can put your sugar in here. Again, I don't put sugar in mine. Then you're going to crack in your eggs. And again, I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm using two eggs instead of one. Pour in your oil and your milk. Everything just gets poured and tossed in together. Grab your vanilla, a couple squirt, squirt, squirts, and just mix it all up. recipe make it done send it to PO Box 341 Modernheimer NC in a cool package oh my goodness for Kenchi's oh belly oh my goodness Kenchi can make his own you can tweet us or Instagram us a picture of your product if you try these or any of our recipes mine is at curls and nails and Kent is at Kenchi GX now I'm going to cover this with a piece of saran wrap and let it set overnight. Also a tip, if you have a big bowl like this and you don't want that film to form at the top of your um, batter, just take the saran wrap and press it down over whatever it is like this. So in this case it's pancake mix, uh, waffle mix. Pancake mix and waffle mix are not the same. Okay, so this is waffle mix after it's been sitting overnight. And I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so now what you need is a ladle. See how it's thicker than it was yesterday. Now we're going to cook it. So the first thing you're going to do is put on your waffle maker and how you know it is done is when the light right there goes off or wherever it is in your waffle maker. It just depends on the make. We're using the Black & Dacker Belgian Waffle Maker if you want it. First you can spray some cooking spray on your waffle maker. Spritz like that. Let it sit for a little while, heat up. A couple seconds. And you want to dish in your, make sure your mix is stirred up first. Just put it right in the middle like that. I like to let mine just settle for a couple minutes, let it get all on the outside, settle where it's going to go, and it starts cooking right away. So then just close that up, and your light should turn on. When it turns off, the waffle's done. So now we see our light is off, so that means it's ready. Let's open it up. 
and it'll pop right out just like that just like that see this one has the plus so the pieces might break apart but see how easily they come out and and you can pour syrup on here butter jam <clears throat> so stay tuned for the taste test taste test for you of the waffles. Did you have to do such a big piece? No. no Good? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. You don't get it.